both smiling, yeah, once again. I mean, they're teammates, they tested together. And being here, playing for the final, of course, uh, it hurts a bit, but uh, there must be a winner. For sure, <laughs> for sure. And, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's very rare that it happens, but when it does, uh, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, first of all, it means that your meta goal was great, yeah. as both are in the top four. And uh, no matter what, uh, one will make it to the finals, which is a huge accomplishment for both. As we mentioned, they miss uh, that breakout performance that really shine. And uh, I'm sure they really want to make Italy proud and win this remote dual invitational for themselves. So, uh, in terms of differences in the deck lists, uh, honestly, uh, it seems like uh, the deck is almost the same. The main one is that Giacomo is actually maining uh, three copies of Forbidden Droplet. Yeah. That actually insane in this matchup, by the way. Yeah, but especially like we have seen uh, most of our players uh, main decking the droplets this weekend, and I think this choice is paying off. Not only because like it's good against, let's say, most of our uh, meta, de meta decks, but yeah. uh, it gives you like another chance, you know, to. Uh, play against most of your opponent cards. I think Jago Moroda 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both having a laugh, as you can see, very friendly atmosphere here. Nice, because uh, playing in top 4 is, uh, is always stressful, and uh, this way they can uh, instead uh, focus on. But yeah, as you mentioned, it's Giacomo will go first, uh, and this means that he will not be facing any droplets, uh, and the only line of defense uh, are the Gamma, Ash, and the Nibiru. So, quite a few end traps. Uh, uh, instead, uh, he's not playing uh, uh, Gamma, Giacomo, yeah. but the Droplet. That's the main difference. Let's see. So, oh. he starts things off with Raven. Actually, not the greatest of starts. This might be uh, a, bit, a little bit weaker than the star we have usually seen from uh, Dragon Link. Mm -hmm. oh, I also... And he discards the Nibiru, oh. okay. Do you think you would Ash here if you're Vincenzo? Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. And we see the Ash. Wow. So, interesting start. Uh, and, uh, ooh, the talent. <laughs> I mean... Uh... Surely gonna use it to draw two cards makes a lot of sense uh, in a combo deck uh, So this Ash uh, could actually come back uh, to hurt uh, Vincenzo more than he helped him right. And he picked up uh, already a decent card uh, in the form of the Dragon Maid Ooh, wow. but the Gamma! So Gamma and Ash for Vincenzo Oh, but I think it makes sense to ash uh, to ash the Raven because uh, I mean, if the talent was not there, it would have been left uh, with three cards. And if he, I, I think it makes sense to ash. That. No, no, no. I agree. Yeah. I totally agree with the ash there, especially because he knows that Jagomo is not playing uh, the Gamma. Yeah. So you Indeed. don't even yeah. uh, uh, risk that. Okay. Oh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, no more uh, removals, uh, Giacomo sets one back, uh, and it seems like uh, our discarding even the Nibiru, uh, Vincenzo is in a great spot to win this game one. You think Vincenzo might consider uh, Giacomo holding another Nibiru? It's possible, uh, at the same time, if you want to combo off, uh, it is one of those cards you could consider discarding. Um, I, I would say I would definitely try and play around it if I can. Uh, because there is a big chance that he has two. Yeah, these two guys actually showed us how powerful the deck is, but I think they play tested it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Here, quick launch. Again, another great uh, start from Vincenzo. Okay, interesting. He gets the synchro instead of the tracer, as you would expect. And now we'll see if he has a follow-up or just goes for the striker right away, I guess. I mean, uh, from uh, Giacomo's side, uh, as I mentioned, there are no uh, droplets. Yeah. There are no... No, there are droplets. Oh, no, there are droplets. Yeah. Opposite, yeah, instead of gamma, so... <laughs> ah, yeah, the router. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely better. Uh... Yeah, 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 this is a very, very solid start. So... 
It could be a droplet, uh, of course it could be the tiding, which is the more likely card to be face down. Yeah, it could have the tiding face down. Here it's Don't a big decision, hmm. uh, because here you can go for seal or ROMs. ROMs uh, uh, it depends uh, if you want to play around Nibiru, as yeah. always. Yeah, this would be the third summon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's risky, I mean... Uh... Maybe he goes for the Romulus. No, okay, he goes for the seal, but I think more of the decision is fine. I think playing more conservatively yeah, makes this is a core. So if he's on the other yeah. one, uh, that's Nibiru already active. Uh, and uh, okay, interesting. Add by Vincenzo, probably already has the uh, Tracer. And he goes for the Sector Launch. Okay, so this way he's trying to play around Nibiru if he has the seal. Because of course by tributing it would trigger. Um, this could be a way to just play around it if he wants to just uh, summon uh, here a bunch of uh, rockets from the end. Definitely an interesting uh, spot. And even the Raven you... You kinda would like to get rid of it. And yeah, as expected uh, he just goes for... Uh, at least the Tracer is really debating... Okay. He goes I for also at the Recharger. Okay, so we know the last card, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the Synchron. Yeah. So a full Rocket End from Vincenzo. Giacomo doesn't seem to be faced by this, so we'll either see the Chaos Ruler coming down here to play around... Uh, yeah, the Nibiru even more, and uh, let's see if there is any response. So, nothing, uh, so we see at least the Nocto, okay, deciphered uh, a lot of different options. Uh, here from Vincenzo and full monsters uh, revealed. So. Yeah, once again, Vincenzo, uh, I think it makes sense. Like, otherwise, if you get Nibiru, that at least you see five cards for the Chaos Ruler. And it's not even that bad, at least you can get the Seafield yeah, yeah, if yeah. you really want to. Like, Yeah, I think he's, yeah. Uh, he's getting it. Uh... Almost surely, yeah, and he does, uh, but that's the great <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he gets back deciphered, uh, and now he's uh, left still with the option of uh, using it, since he went for the quick launch at the beginning yeah. of the turn. And this is a great, uh, great stuff. And yeah. As expected, uh, the Nibiru comes down, but Vincenzo did everything that he could to play around it uh, as he summoned both the Chaos Ruler and the Seal, yeah. uh, which means he has two resources coming back from the graveyard, and now he will actually trigger the Seal uh, and special summon uh, something from the deck. Maybe the Red Eye Darkness Metal Dragon. Yeah. As predicted, Giacomo had another copy, but, but uh, uh, Vincenzo, I think, once again show, showed us how uh, knowledge he has about this deck and I think here of course yeah the Nibiru hurts but not that much let's say no no absolutely and uh, okay we see the last engine in the deck which he still is uh, he didn't use so the the dragon maid you can get uh, the tiding break a fioi and uh, he gets the tiding So now, let's see what he wants to do. I mean, we can... I guess the back row could be the droplet, but also the tiding. Yeah, could be. Yeah. In that case, uh, you want to try and push as much damage as possible, but the options are also quite limited, I think. Yeah, the last kind of Milcher Susan is the Synchron, right? <laughs> so, hello, <yeah>. Piera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know too many summons uh, from Vincenzo, who had a pretty late normal summon, but he tried, uh, of course, to just normal summon again, but his opponent uh, told him that that was impossible. So he got back the, the ruler. And yeah, just uh, swing over the Nibiru. Um, 
I guess he could make another seal uh, giving up the ruler. Yeah, I think that would make sense. Yeah, yeah this is what he does. So you have the tiding uh, and you have a couple of responses and uh, like that's it. decent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. So seal coming down from Vincenzo, uh, tiding face down. And uh, play is back to his uh, friend. Now Giacomo is left with two cards. We don't know uh, what is keeping up uh, on the field. Yeah, he has the Ravine. Uh, it's not amazing, of course, uh, at the moment. But he can also use it, uh, potentially. I think between these two guys, like game one uh, is going for Vincenzo's side. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's funny as uh, as we mentioned, uh, these guys are friends, close friends, and they played this deck together uh, to build it and to bring it here. So that this is really funny if you think about it. This could have been a testing session uh, that they had the coming up to the event, uh, but who could have thought that from a testing session they would end up in top four? Uh, Playing it all for the win, Sgrofax, it's really, really tough. Giacomo is considering it. Uh, looks like he might go for the Ravine if he really doesn't have any other option available. Uh, yeah, but with the... Uh, what, do, what do you do, like, if you just have the... Right no, 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 it's, it's yeah. decent, as you know, you just uh, get the router, yeah. uh, so let's see. You also have to consider that you discard this cost, so you can yeah. get answered uh, by the tiding. Uh, that's the drop. Okay, it is the droplet, at least that's uh, better news than uh, the tiding. And so he will activate the droplet, uh, ooh, and it gets the router, okay. Um, I mean, there is an option here, as you can see, with the tiding, uh, but it's not really great. So this could actually go Giacomo's uh, side now, because the seal is pretty much useless, uh, but it can be used uh, with the tiding. He needs to play it uh, really safe. Uh... Let's see what he decides to add. Okay, the tracer. I mean, yeah, not much of a choice. He needs to play around the tiding. If yeah. tiding is enough, I think Vincenzo can capitalize next turn. If it's not enough, uh, then it's probably Giacomo who actually managed to come back. Yeah. So let's see, uh, here already we could see the tiding, but of course you then change the tracer, so it's not the greatest even here. Uh -huh. Okay, so we see the striker. Would you ever yeah. activate it uh, here? I think I would wait. Uh, you just wait maybe from the activation of the sector uh, launch. Because now they can tribute it to get back the tracer. Yeah. Otherwise, if you bounce it, they cannot. Yeah. That's the only doubt. So you could take a risk here and bounce back the striker. Uh, of course, it's a risk, but okay. For now, uh, not taking it, uh, and it looked like he attacked. Uh, yeah. So... Let's see. Yeah, in a battle phase, right? I think, I mean, I don't know. The, the <laughs> it looked like the, he entered battle phase, but let's see if uh, if that's the case. Yeah. yeah, not a surprise, but he needs to activate it because if he doesn't activate the tiding gear, he then he cannot activate it anymore since the yeah. only dragon he has is erratic. Yeah. So he left without a choice. Honestly, I don't mind this. Uh, he goes for the tiding. Let's see, Giacomo's thinking about it. Hmm. 
Not sure what they are uh, debating on uh, at the moment, but yeah. Now the striker is sent uh, back to the extra deck uh, and uh, play can resume. And now Jago is left, the sector launch and one car we don't know. Let's see what Vincenzo brings out with the seals effect. Mm -hmm. They were just uh, checking out because what happened is uh, Vincenzo activated the tide in chain for the, the seal and uh, he wanted to know if it resolved. It did. So he brings out the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon and now can Giacomo do anything? He can of course because as you can see here he can use the other effect of uh, Book Sector Launch to bring back the Tracer. And uh, do you think he, he will try to go for the Chaos Ruler again, or just uh, Savage? If he really wants to abuse... <laughs> and uh, I don't... I, I will maybe go for the Savage. Yeah, because like Vincenzo has one card in hand. Of course it's not the best, but if you go for the Chaos Ruler, you really need to hope to see at least the Legion here, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's risky. Maybe I, I risk high reward. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, definitely a close decision. And you can see that he is thinking about it uh, too. But in the end, he does go for the Chaos Ruler. I like it. Uh, let's see if he's rewarded. Uh, the Weather Buster is a good pickup. Uh, and the uh, Tiding uh, Engrave. Uh, it's also nice, Ooh, but the call up uh, definitely not what he was looking for. Revealing both dragons uh, huh. makes it much, much worse. And this is now a closer decision than it would have been if that last call up serpent wasn't revealed. Especially because he doesn't have any copy of the cow space in the in the graveyard. So no, exactly. Or he milled it now. Oh, exactly. Because that could have yeah. been an option too. Yeah. Uh, you can see Giacomo pretty upset uh, with the result. But you, you said it. It was definitely an Iris card reward play. Um, and I'm not quite sure if the reward is there. Here it's pretty much the same yeah. thing. If yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. He doesn't have much of an option. In the end, he decides to get the call up serpent, and now the situation. At least he was rewarded pretty highly by this uh, meal of tiding, because as you can see here, he gets to banish it and get a second copy to the end. Let's see. Because now I think you go for uh, the Hieratic Seal, right? I don't think you just pass uh, like this. You can go for uh, the Collab Serpent if he really wants to, and then. Uh... Yeah, but the problem is the. He special. Ah, is, uh, is he locked? The... Yeah. Yeah, is he locked on the dark, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. So that's the the thing. The, he's also out of seals for the rest of the yeah. of the game, or at least for this turn. So this is a very uneasy spot. So and uh, just like him, Vincenzo also has his own copy of Tiding. Yeah. Which he can banish to bring back uh, his own dragon mate. So. Let's see. I think he got about this. Uh... 
What, what do you do here? Okay, so he's trying to go for a play, but... Can't go for the seal, so let's see if uh, he will instead maybe try to go for it. And uh, the judges will uh, let him know. You can see he's quite confused about what to do. While Vincenzo is trying not to have a panica. And uh, we'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, Mascherena comes down. But does he have an option to just go for something else next to it? That's the big question. As you mentioned, he's locked under dark, so he could just summon the call up and pass. But that's really, really, really underwhelming. So, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, the turn started really well, but now. It's uh, getting a little confusing. Okay, for now play is still smooth with the PSC. Unfortunately, as we mentioned, he cannot get the Weather Buster. But now he will get back the Chaos Ruler. Okay. Okay. So he continues on uh, using Mascherena and uh, the Chaos Ruler. He has a few options and yeah, the triple burst is the only one that at the moment makes sense. But we also have to remind that he entered the battle phase. Yeah. So it's not like he can OTK here. And uh, the situation is getting uh, a little tough. So, at least a uh, good recognition uh, by being locked under dark. He couldn't end on a seal, so he's trying his best to just uh, make a different combo. And now he will get the tracer back. Not the greatest, but he's working with what he has. Which is not much, I yep. gotta say. So, now again, continues with the striker. And he finally gets rid the recharger, okay. Yeah, of the pisti. Yeah, because now he can special summon the charger, bring back the tracer. Anyways, very well played by Jaco. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's showing us the. As expected, uh, he knows the deck uh, really well. Um, just like his friend and opponent, Vincenzo, so. We'll see. Okay, brings back the. Mm -hmm. The router with the recharger, okay. Okay, and now he moves on. Yet another link summon, and uh, could be the access, yeah. So, access code uh, ends up being on the field. Uh, probably the first time we see it, uh, uh, not for an OTK, but for uh, just the sheer power of the card and. Uh, Destroying uh, pretty much uh, the field because at the moment Vincenzo has the Nibiru token and the red eyes with zero attack, but both are pretty scary. So we, we will see them uh, destroyed uh, soon en enough. Yeah, just checking if he has another target for the router, but he already used it at the beginning of this turn, I believe. Yeah, so he cannot even uh, get it, and yeah. In fact, he just moves on, uh, banishes Mascherina to pop uh, the red eyes, uh, sets one, and uh, I mean, I can't blame Giacomo, very, very long turn, and in the end he fighted uh, as hard as he could, as he could to stay in this game, and now, let's see, his play is back to Vincenzo. Um, we know that there is a tidying face down from Giacomo as well, yeah. so the main line of defense, we can say. Eh, now here, back to Vincenzo, who has the tiding, tiding in Grave, he has the Sector Launch. Eh, it's not going to be easy to deal with the access code. I think he'll try his best. Uh, it really depends on if Giacomo has any other sort of interruption. Still, well played by Giacomo. I think he did uh, everything he could uh, to mm -hmm. come back into the game. And this is probably the longest uh, game one we yeah. had uh, almost all weekend. Uh, 
Both players especially still at 8000 life points and 25 minutes almost gone so half of our time and uh, I mean both players uh, know the deck in and out they played it and built it together so not a surprise okay he has the tiding gets rid of the sector launcher comes back to the end which probably was activated to yeah. bring back uh, yeah. from the grave this way cannot resolve and we know Vincenzo has the rocket synchro we don't know the last card mm -hmm. He also has the tiding of his own in the graveyard, so another option to just banish and uh, bring back. Okay, seems like he finally made up his mind, so he will have to do something to change uh, the outcome of the duel because the, the access code is quite scary. Yeah. And here you can see it on the screen. Uh, Probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, Link 4 at the moment in the game. Okay. We do see it, uh, we knew about it. Okay. <clears throat> so he gets back the router. And this is still uh, pretty strong uh, from yeah. Vincenzo. Especially because, like, the, the previous turn, I think he actually recognized the rocket sinker might have been useful later on in the game. Mm hmm. And now I think this is what he was really looking for. We don't know the last card in hand. Yeah, it uh, mainly depends on that if he's able to out uh, this situation. Okay, seems like he will go for the Savage. Yeah. So Savage comes down. Yeah, he has the seal, so seal... Uh... Unfortunately, not giving him a boost, but uh, giving two negates. It would be nice to know how big the token uh, was. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I I have no idea. It was quite a long time ago, and uh, yeah, there were around like three, three. Yeah, there were a lot of monsters, monsters so, yeah. like, because it could be big enough to attack over the yeah. access code. Uh, but ooh, that would make a boost. Ooh, yeah, cow space. Okay. That's Maybe true. he gets the Levian here. here. Okay, no. Goes for the Wyvern Buster instead, but this still gives him uh, a draw. So that was a great top deck yeah, uh, by definitely. Vincenzo. Absolutely great top deck uh, in the form of Cow Space, and uh, yeah, this uh, <laughs> it's tough. He will now use it uh, either here or later to get a draw. And uh, yeah, he use it right away. But what a what a huge top deck! I think this was definitely one of the best top deck he could ask for. Mm -hmm. And now uh, he gets back the striker and he can use uh, the one copy of striker dragon uh, to his uh, benefit uh, using the second effect of the field spell. So let's see. I think you go striker here, get back the tracer, and then special summon it with the field spell. And uh, yeah, this is uh, quite quite scary. I think with his cow space, he, he's actually <laughs> came back into this game. Yeah, I mean, of course it's not easy to, to deal it, with the access code, but no, but it was amazing. As you mentioned, he could have added the the, the revenir potentially yeah. if he played it uh, uh, that way, but uh, he had the option since he discarded the dark to get the light monster and he had the wyver. So uh, this was uh, one of the greatest. Uh, things he could have done and here just look at the sheer amount of advantage uh, that he's bringing out wow okay <laughs> tough times if you're Giacomo and uh, we might see a game two soon okay the token eventually is used to go for the triple bars and we will see his own copy of uh, access code 
So if you can't beat them, join them. And this is exactly what Vincenzo is doing. Uh, Giacomo picks up his cards, uh, and in the end, uh, it is Vincenzo who, with a clutch, clutch uh, top deck of Cow Space, is able to completely switch out the pace of the game and took game one. What a turnaround! Uh, and now uh, we already talked about one of the differences which was uh, Vincenzo maining Gamma instead yeah. of uh, Droplet. And they actually both draw the card, so... Let's see, now it's uh, Giacomo will go first, and uh, what do you think he's siding in? If he really wants to, like, uh, having another option, he, he has Gamma, but like, once again, these two guys tested together, so they really know well each other, uh, main decks and side decks. And uh, of course, it could be like a good solution, especially because if you think that uh, uh, Vincenzo not expected. But on the other hand, like uh, I think between these two at the moment, maybe just Vincenzo not because he won game one. But looking yeah. at the side deck, maybe it's better in yeah. a way. He has the Lightning Storm and the Pancrotops, uh, even the Droll, uh, which are uh, maybe decent when going yeah. second. So. We'll see, but overall uh, he has a big advantage, uh, but I gotta say he will be missing uh, uh, the droplets later on. So we'll see. Droplets. So we'll see if that's uh, gonna be enough. But if that's the case, uh, then uh, after such a long game one, uh, maybe this is the time where we will see a sudden death game. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, we all, like today we are all seen uh matches uh, very long matches like it, we, we didn't have any two, two victories so far no 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 not a single uh, game uh, lasted uh, two games not a single match we all went to the in three today so we could have a first but this match is looking like it's gonna be a back and forth one they really had their chances they know where to do they know where to stop and uh, we'll see Anyways, these, these two guys, I think they are putting up a show this weekend, especially because, like, as you said yesterday, uh, Vincenzo was not playing, so maybe he was just, you know, chilling, but uh, he was on the spot since this morning, and uh, I think now he has a huge chance to advance into the final. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is uh, he's showing that he deserves to be here, even though he had to play one less match than his opponent's uh, and we'll see if he, at the end, will be the best Italian and best uh, Dragon Link player of the event. So, no matter what, uh, in case you just joined, uh, we're watching the top four and the remaining decks uh, are uh, two Dragon Links, one Altergeist, and then the last deck which we saw beating uh, in the end, uh, jean Lu, which is the Drytron deck. So, very, very diverse uh, uh, top cut, uh, considering that in the past we've seen Tri Brigade just completely dominate uh, the past events, uh, and now in the top four we don't have a single Tri Brigade deck. So, interesting stuff. Okay. Seems like they are ready. Uh, if there are no big surprises, Giacomo will be going first. So let's see. Definitely looking uh, for some of the openings we have seen all weekend and this is the decent way to start things off, getting the tiding. Uh, cow space I think is yeah. by far one of the best, but uh, let's see if there is a drone lock already. From Vincenzo, and there Whoa. is, uh, wow. <laughs> Big Dragon Lock by Vincenzo, and this shuts down so many plays from the Dragon Link deck. Uh, we were seeing this before, like taking a look at the side deck. If we had to pick someone, maybe it was Vincenzo just because of the side deck, you know? Yeah, there are a few differences, very, very few differences uh, in this guy's deck list as they tested together, but uh, this Dragon Lock is clutch, and he could even uh, just. Uh, Make it so that Giacomo sets the tiling and passes. 
Ooh, but again, uh, the talent. So let's take a look at Vincenzo and... Wow. Wow. It's <laughs> actually an awful one, yeah. if you have to be honest. Here you can even get rid of the rocket monster and just uh, play it as a grind game. Yeah. Uh, now I think you get rid of the, the synchro, right? I mean... It, I mean uh, if you can combo off, you can also get rid of the Nibiru, but comboing off, uh, yeah, through the draw is almost impossible, so... You make your opponent brick, and uh, this is a great, great choice. Uh, so now Vincenzo needs a miracle off the top. Uh, yeah. uh, Cow Space uh, is probably one of the best top deck he could have. Definitely. So, are you guys gonna see the Tiding face down from Giacomo? Or is he gonna try and uh, at least put something else in the board? Yeah. Okay. We see the Tiding play back to Vincenzo after even a second set. Let's see if he can pick up anything or if we'll just uh, pass right back to Giacomo. Droplets. I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, it could be the droplets. <laughs> I passed. And yeah, I just okay. passed. Uh, Nothing. Most draws uh, were gonna be something similar. I mean, uh, there were very, very few cars that were doing anything. Even the cow space was almost useless. Droplets. So now let's see. Giacomo picks up a card. The only thing he has to play around is the Nibiru from Vincenzo, which he knows about. And if that's the case, uh, then uh, he will not even need to activate his droplets. So let's see. <laughs> okay, it was not a droplet. It was a quick launch instead. So he activates the launch. Go on and search a tracer. And I think uh, it might be once again uh, a game free for today. Yeah. He doesn't even have to be in the system to be a 2 0 victory like. <laughs> <laughs> So now, yeah, the striker. Yeah, now Giacomo really needs to be careful about the Nibiru. Yeah, we are at uh, summon number two. Uh, there is an option that he just goes for the Savage to play around the Nibiru and then OTKs uh, without really doing much. So let's see. I think one of them is from Brescia. Lovely city <laughs> where uh, yeah, another player, Andrea Finiti, has just been. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, as expected, uh, uh, Giacomo really, really doesn't want to mess up. He knows that the advantage is all pending on his side, and here I think we see the Savage. No. Okay, it's dead, no. He wants to play it as Vincenzo did last turn. So let's see if he can pick up anything. The meals are uh, interesting. Okay, two different options. But as we can see, there are two main decisions. Either you go for the Savage and you try to OTK, or you go for the Chaos Ruler and the Seal. And then, uh, if the Nibiru eats you, you still end up uh, plussing off, so... That doesn't really change uh, the outcome too much. Not that much that Vincenzo can do at the moment. Still need to keep in mind that we have 12 minutes remaining and... Uh... Once again, game three looks like is approaching. Yeah, we might see it still uh, far from over, but the advantage from Giacomo taking a look at his opponent ends with the talent is just uh, way, way too much. Uh, certo. So let's see. Do you think, uh, yeah, he just goes for the seal, again, yeah. uh, I mean... No droplets. He doesn't really need to do much, yeah, he goes for the Cypher and I think, yeah. Vincenzo has seen enough. 
Uh, he didn't really have a chance this game. Uh, he kind of bricked uh, and the talent from Giacomo was enough to seal the deal. We have uh, the yet another game free on our ends, uh, but this time there is no more joking around. Uh, we'll soon find out uh, who will be the first player to advance to the final. And what a way to do it, if not by beating one of your best friends which you played and play tested uh, together with. Great, great story for the weekend, uh, and we'll see if one of these guys will bring it home once again. So, as you mentioned, uh, side decks somewhat similar, not really need uh, to yeah. check them out, but something we can mention is that Giacomo will now have uh, what he was missing in the main decks, uh, which are the Gammas. Yeah. He's siding them instead of maining them. Uh, but we can safely assume that he brings them in in this matchup. Though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially because like going second against the uh, Dragon League Mirror match, uh, if you see like Gamma pulling in like a, the precise moment gives you a huge advantage. Most likely we will see Giacomo side deck them in. Do you think he will keep the droplets? Uh, droplets, uh, I think uh, they're very good. I mean, we have seen them. Uh, they have enough. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. We could see them uh, again. It was the main. Uh... Droplets. <laughs> I think it was the main card being but... played by most of our players this weekend so far. Doesn't matter where you go, <laughs> it matters <laughs> <laughs> to come to the final. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And as mentioned, uh, it's really helping out a lot that they are friends as they don't feel the nerves as much because uh, otherwise, as both of these guys are missing uh, that uh, win, that uh, strong performance, uh, they could be absolutely nervous. And I think no matter what, they're gonna feel it now that they know one game away from the final, but one game away from being kicked out. And Vincenzo was already in the spot. Last time uh, he lost in top 16, uh, and this time he could actually redeem himself and actually he just made it to the finals and even win the entire event. I think both of these two guys deserve a game three, especially considering what they showed us throughout this weekend. Yeah. Seems like they're almost ready. Pretty much nine minutes remain, uh, which uh, could be enough. Uh, or we might actually see the first duel end because of a life points difference. So let's see. I think they're almost ready. Once again, guys, don't miss out this game free as it is going to be one of these two guys' last game of the tournament uh, is it gonna be Vincenzo or Giacomo we're finding out uh, really soon so Vincenzo gonna go first in giornata so let's see he picks up the cards Again, really looking forward, uh, looking for, you know, Paul by the Grave, Triple Tactic Talent, Cow Space, all of those uh, amazing extenders. Let's see if he picked up any of them. Okay, Tracer, not the best way to start things off. And let's see if his friend uh, actually returns the favor with the Drone and Lock uh, now. Okay, no surprise here. Let's see yeah. if maybe Giacomo has a drone lock bird in his hand. That might hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. The drone lock, Lance, yeah, there are a bunch yeah. of options that could uh, come down here from Giacomo. Mm, he's definitely thinking, and yes, there is a drone lock uh, once again. Uh, and uh, let's see if uh, Vincenzo will actually face it as well as Giacomo did. Ah. 
or if it will cost him the game this time. The last game, uh, this was met by a triple tactic talent, and uh, it was enough to make uh, Vincenzo brick. Doesn't look like Vincenzo has it, and he will use the effect to get back the tracer. Okay. This is still decent because uh, at worst uh, it guarantees uh, you know the savage uh, or the erratic seal. So we'll see if that's uh, all that Vincenzo does. Yeah, okay. for now, yeah. not a surprise. As mentioned, he will just go for the Tracer. Yeah. And Giacomo allows it, so... Uh, pretty... Standard uh, play around the draw. Do you prefer going for just a Savage... Uh, for one, or do you think uh, I seal? Where is your mind at? I think I will be this at anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll go for the seal. For the seal, mm, okay. Yeah, I'll go for the seal. I don't really like the savage okay. with <laughs> one uh, one counter on it. Okay, yeah, and uh, here is the big decision. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Instead, uh, goes for the ruler, knowing that he cannot uh, add any card to his hand, uh, and will just set one and pass. Okay, uh, wasn't not interesting. Uh, in definitely the the least expected uh, line, but he's uh, probably holding a tiding. And wants to use it that way, but still uh, the the seal uh, seemed like it was gonna be better. The savage as well. We'll see if that decision in the end uh, will cost him the game. Uh, and it's Giacomo now is uh, happily facing this kind of board on turn one. And he started things off uh, with a solid cipher. I'm curious to see why Vincenzo actually yeah. summoned the, the Chaos Ruler, I don't know. Maybe he was afraid of just losing in time and wanted something that could come back or it was larger, but I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely an unusual line, especially under the draw. And now with 4 minutes remaining, uh, Giacomo definitely has to take into consideration just uh, prioritizing dealing any uh, damage to his opponent and winning like that, yeah. because that's uh, for sure a solid plan. Now three minutes uh, on the clock. Um, it's going to be interesting, because now I think if Giacomo uh, continues to combo off, I think he might be able to at least yeah. deal some damage. We could even see the sudden, uh, you know, yeah. death, uh, we have been waiting for, and as expected, that there is a tiding, but now he is left uh, completely unarmed. And what a weird decision, I gotta say, from Vincenzo to go for this ruler. Because now, oh, oh, it shouldn't be that complicated for Giacomo to push damage. Andy, launch. Quick launch is a great way to do it. Uh, so let's see. He now gets to special summon from the deck. Uh, he does even have access to the striker for the sector launch, but as mentioned, uh, the main problem right here, right now, for Vincenzo is not stopping the combos, but surviving uh, the damage. Because it's two minutes uh, remaining, and this Gamma is there, which is a great way of doing it, by yeah. the way. Because it negates and put up two defenders, so maybe this Gamma could work. You see Giacomo really upset by this. Yeah. And now maybe I can see why he special summoned the Chaos Ruler. I guess, but uh, I think the Savage and the Seals were both... Yeah, I mean, uh, they were fine, I think. Yeah. ...better in a way. Of course, if you go for the Seal, uh, when he went for the Tracer, you're locked under the Darks. 
but at least the Savage, uh, I think, could have been better. Did he pass? Yeah. So, unfortunately, poor Giacomo. Again, we see a turnaround in the form of Gamma from Vincenzo, who was actually starting things off. So, you rarely see the Gamma going first in this matchup. And now it's the other way around. Uh, Vincenzo, pretty much with a, with a match point, uh, all he needs to do is combo off and deal any point of damage in the remaining minute and 20 seconds. And I think that's a piece of cake. So the redemption story continues for Vincenzo. As we can see, he can just swing. Yeah. And uh, the game uh, will be on his end. So great story, great deck. Uh, overall, uh, it seems like he's very, very consistent, performing for both of these guys who work together hard and long. Uh, to prepare for this event, uh, but uh, the fate was on Vincenzo, who now gets ahead of damage and uh, will not take uh, much time though, uh, we just play, and this is what you like to see between two friends, yeah. uh, really playing it fast and uh, being fair to each other, not to lose time uh, in timeout, uh, but now uh, Vincenzo really needs to have a think uh, when he wants to activate this tiding because only a couple of seconds remain and Giacomo is in a very weird spot as you can see here just uh, playing as fast as he can trying to push some damage I think he just entered the battle phase yeah. And uh, I think we might have actually a turnaround here because he spins it back, but the tracer attacks. Uh, and what a turnaround from this match! Vincenzo playing a little too fast actually ends up giving the game back to his opponent. But what a show of a friendship and fairness! Honestly, if you look up fair play, this is what should come up on the dictionary. Absolutely great stuff by both of these players uh, and in the end uh, it is Giacomo who wins the match uh, and will advance to the final. Congratulations and let's go back to us uh, for a post-match discussion.